I used to joke about Ezra Miller being crazy, but I think we're way beyond that point now. I was trying to avoid this topic like the plague, but I do find it troublesome that more people aren't talking about it. And if I know YouTube, this will probably be demonetized immediately. Fuck me, right? But fuck it, it needs to be said. A lot has come out over the past few years about Ezra Miller's off-screen behavior. There's a video of him pretend choking a pregnant woman. There's a strange video message on Instagram where he's referencing the KKK. He once uncomfortably forced Gal Gadot to say things live on air that she wasn't comfortable saying. He forcefully kissed a TMZ reporter who asked him a question that he didn't agree with. Not to mention there were also reports of difficult behavior on the set of the Flash movie as if that movie needed more setbacks than it already had. Now you wanna get nuts? Come on, let's get nuts. Now, all of that might seem relatively tame to some people, and some might chalk it up to Ezra just needing help with his mental health. But the truth is, is that things only escalated from there. He was arrested several times in Hawaii just a few months ago for offenses ranging from assault to making death threats towards people. So all signs do point to, yes, an unstable individual. But in my eyes, he's still responsible for his actions, he's still an adult, and he should still be held accountable. I guess some could argue that being arrested is his punishment, or it's punishment enough. Oh, well, allow me to retort. But I would retort back and say if you look at the current landscape in Hollywood, people have been fired or canceled for far less. People have literally lost their jobs because of words, because of a tweet, because you know, words hurt. Yeah, I'm sure a chair across the face of one of Ezra's victims hurt a lot more. And this is the aspect to all of this that a lot of people are overlooking and my biggest problem with cancel culture. If you want to hold people accountable for what they do, that's fine, you have my blessing, but you have to keep the same energy with everyone that makes sense you have to be consistent but that's not what happens some people are in a protective bubble and untouchable while others are jettisoned out of Hollywood without a second thought where are all the tweets and hashtags coming to Ezra's victims defense or calling for him to be canceled or fired if they exist they must exist in a dark corner of Twitter somewhere because I haven't seen them we ain't found shit did Johnny Depp get this same level of protection for accusations made against him? Absolutely not. The man was drugged through the mud and made an example of by Hollywood Studios and basically fired from every project he was involved with. He was essentially blacklisted for accusations. Let's say for a second that Johnny Depp wasn't 100% innocent in his situation. There is still a double standard with how he was treated and now how Ezra is being treated. Hell, I saw more people upset about Will Smith slapping Chris Rock than I do Ezra Miller's actions. What is the five fingers? Say to the face! Slap! In fact, I've seen more people try to make excuses for Ezra than anything. They completely ignore the fact that he's actually been charged with real crimes. Not Twitter crimes with words, not phony accusations. He has literally shown a pattern for this shit and been arrested for things that people would normally be fired for. So what exactly makes Ezra Miller so special? Yes, it's true. This man has no dick. Haven't heard a peep from WB as it pertains to his status with the Flash movie after all of this. The last rumor I heard is that they plan to continue to use him as the Flash in future DC projects. If that rumor is in fact true, then they were apparently completely unfazed by all the controversy surrounding him. They haven't even released a statement, just pure silence. Your silence is deafening because it makes regular people like myself start to speculate, especially when a precedent has been set that implies zero tolerance when it comes to misconduct. Man, I'm tired of being right. But as far as we know, Ezra has not been removed from The Flash or any future projects. And don't give me this line of bullshit about how they've invested too much in this movie already. It's Hollywood. If they wanted him gone, he would be gone already. The part would already be recasted and they would be doing reshoots as we speak. If anyone is gullible enough to believe that Hollywood is afraid of taking this level of financial loss, they do it all the time now because they're consistently making shitty movies. That's right, it stinks! Trust me, they'll be fine if they do the right thing. But also, no one can convince me that they didn't already know about this shit when they hired him. Maybe they don't want to do the right thing, but I guess we'll see as time moves on. But maybe the latest news will be enough to change their minds about Ezra. Ezra Miller is currently on the run from authorities with an indigenous teen that he's reportedly been grooming since they were 12 years old. He has reportedly drugged, 
abused, and brainwashed this person using cult-like psychological control over them. Ezra has reportedly also assaulted this person's family and brought a gun into their home without their consent. Oh, and to top it all off, Ezra's personal Instagram account has been mocking authorities for not being able to catch him. Sounds like a real stand-up citizen and someone you want to be the face of your franchise. I knew it, I'm surrounded by assholes. And for those who might come to me and say, well, the teen has already denied all these reports. Wouldn't someone that's been brainwashed and manipulated say that exact same thing? And if all of this wasn't enough to make your stomach churn, Chief Bearcross, who is the uncle of this teen, testified to all of this. And he also revealed that Ezra once tried to sleep in the same bed with the 14-year-old before a chaperone stopped it from happening. What more do you need to hear exactly? What reason would these indigenous people People have to make up such an accusation like this. And if everything's on the up and up, then why is Ezra running from authorities? And why was the teen reportedly basically abducted? I want to ask you a bunch of questions. And I want to have them answered immediately. This is a messy and disgusting situation, and it honestly boggles my mind that more action isn't being taken. Does Ezra have something on someone in Hollywood that grants him immunity from experiencing any kind of consequences? I don't know about that, but I do know this. If for some reason all of this is just kind of swept under the rug, and Ezra is welcomed back into Hollywood and used to actually sell a fucking Flash movie, then this would have to send up a lot of red flags everywhere that something isn't quite right with this situation. And I would say shame on anyone who's trying to minimalize it. I'm sorry to get this heavy in a video because I don't normally do that, but this is some real life shit. And I hope that everyone who is involved in this situation, everyone who's had to put up with Ezra Miller's antics over the years, and every Everyone who's been put through these literal horror stories because of Ezra Miller comes out of this situation safe, and at the very least I hope they hold him accountable even if some people won't. Cancel the Flash movie, hold Ezra Miller accountable, and most importantly let's hope for this young person's safe return. Y'all be cool. Shut up.